Okay, one better. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down um, a duo de twang performance of this tune. In particular, um, Aspen Snowmass 2014, I believe. So in this version, the main riff, verse riff, and the chorus riff are going to differ from how this song was played live in like 06, 07, the Of Wales and a Woe tour. Um, and I'll go over how the two are different, but I'm going to break down the uh, uh, fancy band version of those riffs at the end of this video, just so it doesn't kind of, um, you know, interrupt the flow of breaking down this performance. Okay, so we're going to start with the uh, intro, and that's going to go like this. Slow that down a bit. Alright, so we're going to slap E12. I'm going to do kind of a muted slap, which is just getting your hand on the strings ready for the pop at um, D14. Okay. And then do two slaps on uh, E12 again. Okay, and then pop D12, hammer on to 14. Do a quick uh, double slap on the A string, muted. And then immediately followed by a slap on um, A12, hammer on to 14. So those three slaps are almost kind of like a triple slap. Okay, so like. So, next we're going to do all of that again, up until the, so, okay, and then do a muted slap, well it's not really a muted slap, it's more like a muted note, getting your hand on the strings, ready for the pop at um, G12, hammer on to 14, okay, so from the top, up next, another. Then we're going to pop uh, G12 and then G14, bend up. And do a uh, somewhere up in the high E string register, do a slap and slide down. And then we are into the main riff. So we're going to start with a slap on E12, and then pop A13, and then pop A12, and slide down. Up next, we are going to pop the open A string, and this is going to be um, immediately followed by a slap on A10. Okay. Then after that, we have a double slap on A10. All right. So, so far. Okay, so next, uh, two slaps at A12. Okay, and then do a triple slap at E9. And then slap E10, and then pop the open A string. Okay, so from the top, okay, so up next we are going to strum a chord at uh, G13, uh, D14, 
slide down with that. And as you um, strum that chord, right as you do that, try to kill off the open A uh, string from the pop just before. So, sort of like... Alright, up next, we're just going to do a muted slap on, uh, I think it's the D string. And then do an open G pop. Another muted slap. So... Okay, then we're going to slap D12, slap D11, uh, hammer on to 12. Okay, so... Up next, another uh, muted slap, and then an open G pop, so like... Okay, and then two slaps on A10, A12, and then do another triple slap on E9, single slap on um, E10, and then bring it down here to slap E7 and slide up. So, okay, so that's going to be the main riff. Okay, so now we are into the verse riff. So, the uh, start of this verse riff is going to, you know, be the same as the main riff. But then we're going to do 9-9-10-9 um, nine, nine, nine on the E string. Uh, usually, uh, sometimes, a few times in this performance, it's like 9-10-9-10. Uh, nine, ten, nine, ten. But, um, yeah, I think the majority of the time it's... And then we're going to slap E12 and slide down. Whoops. Alrighty, up next we have six ghost notes. And um, what he often does with this is kind of lightly slaps muted notes. So pretty similar to how he keeps the rhythm going in like Buzzards of Green Hill. So like... Kind of like so. Um, so that's what he does. What, what I tend to do when playing this is to play that as like slap pop. So three slap pops. Okay, and then A10, A10, A12, 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 and then a triple slap on E9, uh, E10, E9 again. Uh, sometimes he'll just do that as um, two E9 slaps instead of a triple slap, so like, instead of... All right, so that's the verse riff, and next we are into the chorus riff. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty simple here. Just uh, slap E12, uh, pop the uh, octave at D14, slide down and repeat. Again, and then just do some uh, muted slap and pop on the E and uh, D strings for the rest of the uh, bar or measure or whatever. And the final uh, pop here before, you know, repeating this riff is just uh, open D. So. So, okay, and in this first chorus, we have a um, fill um, right after, you can't get the best of me. So that's, uh, just slap open D, hammer on to 12, hammer on to 14, and then pop a G14. Okay, so after the first chorus here, we're back into the main riff, and then we're into the uh, second verse. 
and then the second chorus, and in the second chorus, there's really no uh, no fills going on here, so nothing like uh, happening. And then so after the second chorus, we are back into the main riff, and then we're gonna go into the bridge riff, which is gonna go like this. Slow that down a bit. Okay, so do uh, two slaps at E12, pop uh, D14, and then do two uh, quick slaps back at E12. muted uh, slap, which is really just getting your hand uh, down on the strings there, ready for the pop at uh, D12, hammer on to 14. And I do the kind of the same thing from the intro, the uh, triple slap for the... Okay, so... Alright, and then do a... Okay, and then we're going to strum these four chords here, um, just bar chords, um, so start at DG14, 13, uh, 12, 11. Alright, so that is the bridge riff, and at we're going to start taking that bridge riff and uh, start mixing it up a bit, adding some fills. So for the fills in this uh, bridge riff here, all of them are going to happen after the Okay, so the first of those is going to go like this. Okay, so after the... We're going to do... So pop a G12, 14, 12 again. And then slap open G string. And then slap D12, uh, 14. A12, 14. Okay, next, um, again, after the... We're going to do a... So triple slap on E12. And then... And then we have a... Just slap a... You know, D12, 14, 12 again, and then A14. So, uh, with greater context. Okay, next. So, uh, instead of doing the... We're going to do... So, a triple slap on E12. Pop D14. And then slap A12 instead. And then do a A10, 12, and then E9, 10. Okay, next. So, uh, another one of those. And then um, A12, 10, 12, E9. Okay, at we have a little kind of rundown bit here, um, which is going to take us into the next riff of this performance. Um, and that little rundown is going to go like this. All right, so we have and then uh, ten, nine, seven, and then nine pull off to seven. Seven again. So. Then five, seven. Three, one. 
slide up, open, slide up, open. Okay, so from the top. And up next. Okay, so slap uh, E12 and pop uh, D14. And then a uh, muted slap, and then take it down to a 9 and 11 here. So like. And then just bring it up a uh, fret. Okay, and then do a muted slap pop after that, so. Okay, and then slap E10, hammer on do a 12. And then same thing on the A string. Slap A12. And then slap and slide up to 14, so. Okay, and then A12, 10, uh, E12, and then 7. So. Next. Alright, so this uh, bit again. And then uh, slap open A, hammer on to 10, hammer on to 12, slap 12, slap and slide up to uh, 14, uh, 12 again. And then 10, 12, slide to 14, 12. So, like. Next. So that's uh, E10. Hammer on to uh, 12. A10. And then slap A12, slide to 14, hit 14. So. And then. Slap a uh, D12, pop G14, slap a D12 again, and then slap A14. Okay, uh, next we have this bit like... So yeah, we're just going to be sliding the octave around here, so... Down here to 9 and 11. And then uh, 7, 9, 5, 7, 7, 9, 9, 11 again. Next. Okay, so open E slap. Hammer on to uh, 12. Pop 14. Muted slap. And then 10, 9, 10. Muted pop, and then start doing a uh, some slap uh, pop muted. You know, then we're gonna do something uh, pretty similar to that. It's gonna go like this. Start with the uh, again. And then bring it down to 9 and 11. And then slap 10. And then do a muted pop. And start doing, uh, you know, the muted slaps and pops. And then end on a uh, D open pop. Uh, kind of like in the, you know, chorus riff. So I'll play that riff a couple times. Okay, then after, as in, we're going to start strumming the uh, main riff chord here. Which kind of has a Spanish sound to it, doesn't it? Alright, so, and then down to 9 and 11. Um, so then you're going to slap E10, but I, I actually don't really hear the, uh, uh, D12 octave pop in there. It sounds more like a muted pop to me. 
So, I mean, it'd be easier just to pop the 12, but, um, yeah, so. So, muted pop, muted slap, and then do a quick uh, pop slap, pop slap at 9 and 11. And then um, 10, muted pop, 9, 11 again. 10 and muted. So. Okay, so do all that again, only this time end it with. So again with the. And then do an E10 slap, muted pop, and then double slap on 9, pop 11, uh, double slap on 10, pop 12. Next, play that previous bit again, only instead of ending it like, we're uh, going to end like, Alright, so now things are going to get um, a little wilder, and uh, we're going to have this kind of running up bit that's going to go like this. Okay, let's uh, slow that down. Okay, so... Um, and then slap open E. Hammer on to 10, hammer on to uh, 12, repeat on the A string, and then take that up to uh, open A, hammer on 12, hammer on 14, and then take that up to the D string, and then pop 14 on G, 12, open G. Slap a D14, um, open D, and then pop open G. Alright, and then we're going to start doing this little bit here. Slow down, that's... So open D slap, hammer on 14, hammer on 14. And pop open G, hammer on to 12, and then do a left hand tap on D14. Okay, now we're going to take that into a... So do the... and then pop uh, G12, uh, 15, 14, 12, Zero. Okay, and then slap D14, 12, 10, muted slap. Okay, so do that um, a couple of times. Alright, so the next bit is a kind of run down, which um, for whatever reason I've find the timing of it kind of tricky. I don't really have the timing down, but it's going to go something like this. Okay, so we have our and pop 15, 14, 12, 9, muted slap, open G pop, and then slap a D9, uh, 7, Five open D. Next, we have this kind of um, at A five, hammer on to seven, slap the seven, and then we have this slap A five, hammer on to seven, muted slap. Slap A5 again, left hand tap on E7, uh, so, and then muted slap on E, slap E5, okay, 
and then slap E3, E1, slide up here, pop the G, okay? Next we're into a uh, quieter little bit here of... Just kind of, you know, back and forth between the 911 and uh, 1012. And then quietly, I'm gonna get me one better. Right, and with that, do a. So, thumbing uh, E12. Then use your index to hit a, you know, A13, 12. Okay, and then uh, this fill here. All right, so uh, open D slap. Hammer on uh, 12, hammer on 14, uh, pop G14, G12, open G, and slap uh, D14, 12, open G pop again, and then just uh, Slap and slide up on the E string with another open G pop. So. Up next we have the outro riff. Alrighty, so we're gonna have the same uh, start as, you know, the main riff. So. Only with that pop, we are not going to slide down, um, and then we're going to strum the, you know, main riff chord four times, and then bring that chord shape down here to uh, G10, D11, muted strum downward, and then strum up and hit that chord, so... Do that same thing up a fret. And then uh, metered strum downward again. And then come up and hit the... And then just kind of go back and forth between the two chords, so... Okay. Okay, final piece of the song here. So... So we have this uh, kind of power chord, octave, whatever shape, um, 7 on the A string, and then 9, okay, so strum down, and then strum up, hitting the uh, open strings actually, but that is very quickly uh, killed off by strumming down on the, again, so, alright. And down a fret, and then down a fret again. So, start doing some muted strumming. And on the uh, final strum up, just before restarting that, we're going to hit the uh, you know open strings again. So. So, again, then take that up a whole step to a 9, 11, and then up a half step. So that wraps up this performance of uh, One Better by Duo de Twang. Um, but as mentioned uh, near the start of the video, now I'll go over um, how the main riff, verse riff, and chorus riff are different in the kind of like 06, 07 fancy band performances of this. So uh, here we go. All right, so the main riff, um, uh, fancy band live version is gonna go like this. Okay, so there are a, a 
couple differences between this and uh, the uh, do it twin one we went over. Um, so on the you know DDT one, you have you have that at nine and ten. Um, uh, fancy band that's like ten and twelve. So you're still gonna pop the open A though, but you got triple slap on ten and then slap uh, 12. So the uh, second difference would be the ending. So, you know, DDT ending is like. Right? Uh, but fancy band ending is like. Okay, so that's a triple slap at A10. Two slaps at nine. Bring it up here to a 14 for two slaps. 12, and then 12 hammer on 14. And so the verse riff is going to go like this. slide down, <laughs> muted slap, uh, open G pop, uh, but instead of doing a muted slap after that, we're just going to slap um, D 12, 11, 12, so, and then G pop, and then um, A 10, 10, 9-9, uh, 14-14, 12-14. Alright, now for the chorus riff. D14, 12 again, and then bring it down to uh, 11 and 10. And slide down, and then do our, you know, muted. Okay? And, uh, you know, usually with the fancy band, there's, he throws in a lot of, like, fills and improvisation. Improvisation? Improv. Um, with the chorus riff. And uh, oftentimes there's a, an open G pop. Right before restarting the riff, as opposed to the D pop, as we saw in, you know, the DDT version. But uh, yeah, other than that, the um, bridge riff, the outro riff, and like the final bit of the song, are um, the same as the uh, DDT version. So uh, yeah, that's about it. One better.